Every face, every smile, everybody is made up of cells, billions of cells. And each cell is made of millions of molecules, which are groups of atoms held together by bonds between the electrons. Sometimes when these bonds are broken, smaller, unstable molecules result with a free, unpaired electron. The unstable molecules are called free radicals. Free radicals try to pair up their unbonded electrons by stealing them from another nearby molecule. This electron theft causes a new unstable molecule, or another free radical. The free radicals actually attack nearby healthy cells, causing a chain reaction. Free radicals stealing nearby molecules and forming more and more unstable free radicals. As nearby molecules are broken down, damage occurs to the cell. The chain reaction is known as oxidation. We see examples of oxidation around us all the time. Rust on metal is an example. Or a piece of fruit that turns brown is the result of oxidation, and it can happen very quickly. When this chain reaction of oxidation goes unchecked in the body, it causes cell damage and actual decay of tissues. The overflow of free radicals is known as oxidative stress. Scientific studies have shown that oxidative stress is an important factor in many inflammatory diseases, including diabetes, rheumatoid arthritis, gingivitis and periodontitis, and even cardiovascular disease leading to heart attack or stroke. There are several causes for free radicals. The body produces some free radicals through the normal process of metabolism. However, other factors such as stress, poor diet, lack of exercise, or lack of sleep can cause free radicals. Also, external substances can cause an excess of free radicals such as pollution, consumption of alcohol, or nicotine products. In the mouth, nicotine, alcohol, and dental compounds such as bleaching agents, composite fillings, and dental procedures can cause a huge increase in free radicals and cell damage. One way to counteract the destructive action of free radicals and oxidative stress is by introducing compounds that stop oxidation, or antioxidants. Antioxidants are large, complex molecules that can donate an electron to a free radical to bond with its unpaired electron. This effectively neutralizes the free radical. There are thousands of antioxidants, the body's natural defense system to combat free radicals. Antioxidants are inherently unstable themselves and are very specific about the free radicals they affect. Combinations of antioxidants can work together for an even greater effectiveness against oxidative stress.